the hell are you supposed to be? Vengeance. Vengeance. Vengeance! You're becoming quite a celebrity. Boy, oh, I hear everything they say, ain't you? Don't you ever just say hello? This is your legacy, Bruce Wayne. I'm here to unmask the truth. Oh, this guy's hilarious. Whoa! I got you! Come on, vengeance. Who are you under there? Are you just hideously scarred? Yeah. Batman. Rated PG-13. Experience it in IMAX. Only in theaters March 4th. Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And this review is going to be on The Batman. And the film stars Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, Paul Dano, Jeffrey Wright, John Totoro, Peter Sarsgaard, Andy Serkis, and Colin Farrell. And the film was directed by Matt Reeves, which he uh, wrote the film and uh, produced it. Matt Reeves, uh, he directed uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and also War for the Planet of the Apes. Uh, two films that I haven't seen, but I saw Rise of the Planet of the Apes and really enjoyed that film. I did a, a review on it. But got to check out Dawn and uh, War for the Planet of the Apes, uh, both those films. He also directed Cloverfield, which I enjoy Cloverfield. Just Cloverfield is a fun uh, film. And he also created uh, the series uh, Ordinary Joe, which uh, premiered uh, on NBC in the fall. And I uh, enjoyed you know, the show, even though it was announced that it got canceled. Uh, he was one of the writers and executive producers of... Uh, the show uh, that starred uh, James Wolk in it. But the Batman saw the film yesterday. He saw it in Dolby Cinema at my local AMC. And I loved it. This is a awesome film. And it is a film that you know, I was looking forward to after seeing the trailers. But this was an awesome film. And it's two hours and 56 minutes. It's a long film, almost three hours. But those hours flew by fast, you know, watching the film. It didn't even feel long because I was so entertained uh, with uh, the film. And I remember when the film uh, was announced and they cast Robert Pattinson at, in the role for Bruce Wayne Batman and I'm like, really? Again, the guy from Twilight to play Bruce Wayne and Batman? I just didn't picture Robert Pattinson as Bruce Wayne and Batman. But I gotta say, after seeing the film, Robert Pattinson surprised me as his portrayal of Bruce Wayne and Batman. I thought he did a good job even though I'm not a fan of Robert Pattinson. But he did a good job in the film. But the action scenes were awesome, especially when you have Batman uh, punching you know, these uh, bad guys. And in the Dolby Cinema, you know, the scenes where he's punching you know, the bad guys, you felt the seats vibrate, uh, which uh, was awesome. It was, it's an awesome experience seeing the film uh, in Dolby Cinema. If your AMC has a Dolby Cinema, would highly recommend it. It's the best way to view a film. It's better than IMAX. But basically what the film is about is Bruce Wayne, who is played by Robert Pattinson. For two years, he's been operating as Batman, and he investigates alongside the GCPD, the Gotham City Police Department. And you have the Riddler, who is the main villain of the film. The Riddler is played by Paul Dano. And in the beginning, he murders the mayor of Gotham City. 
and the Riddler is leaving all these messages for Batman, you know, in these cards. And so the Riddler's just going around Gotham, Gotham City, uh, killing off, you know, these uh, people, leaving cards, you know, messages for Batman. And it's up to, you know, Batman, of course, played by Robert Pattinson, to hunt down the Riddler and save Gotham City from the Riddler doing any more crime uh, throughout Gotham City. So pretty much that's basically what the plot to the film is about without giving away you know, any more spoilers. But like I said, Robert Pattinson, he did a good job as Bruce Wayne, Batman. He really surprised me because, you know, Robert, like I said, I'm not a fan of Robert Pattinson. They end up chosen the guy from Twilight to be Bruce Wayne you know, and Batman. But I thought it was, you know, a good uh, portrayal of Batman and Bruce Wayne, you know, in his, uh, you know, traumatic past. And they don't do the origin story. They completely skip the origin story, which uh, was also uh, very good because we all know about the origin story, you know, with, you know, Bruce's parents, Thompson and Martha being murdered, being killed. But it is mentioned here in the film, but... They describe it as, you know, 20 years, you know, it's been 20 years since, you know, Bruce's parents were uh, murdered. So it's, it's mentioned there, you know, with Bruce's parents. Uh, you have uh, Paul Dano as the Riddler, and they call him Edward Nashton, when originally the Riddler's uh, name was Edward Nigma. So they end up uh, renaming him. But Paul Dano, very... Uh, good job in his portrayal as the Riddler. Very uh, sinister. It's a different uh, portrayal of the Riddler than all the, other t than all the other versions of the Riddler that we got, you know, which were Goofy, you know, Frank Gorshin in the Adam West uh, Batman series, and of course Jim Carrey in uh, Batman Forever. This is a very uh, serious Riddler uh, that we got uh, in the film with Paul Dano's uh, performance. And Paul Dano, he's a good actor. I really enjoyed his performance in Prisoners. And it's funny. Uh, I think of that scene in Prisoners. If you have, if you all have seen the film, uh, the scene where uh, where uh, Hugh Jackman is watching uh, Paul Dano's character, you know, walking the dog, and Paul Dano's character, very crazy, ends up you know, just, you know, pulling the dog up and, you know, he starts singing Jingle Bells, Batman Smells, Robin Laid an Egg. <laughs> you know, from that time that the film uh, came out, you know, who knew, who knew that he would be in a Batman film, you know, years later? <laughs> it would have been funny if he was, you know, singing that, you know, that Jingle Bells, Batman Smells in, uh, you know, in this film. <laughs> but what a... Awesome performance from uh, Paul Dano as the Riddler. You know, a different uh, type version of uh, the Riddler that we got. You know, very sinister. You know, he's wearing a mask. And he's, you know, doing like these videos online. Sort of like a YouTube, uh, you know, live stream. But awesome performance from uh, Paul Dano as uh, the Riddler. You know, he's just such a good actor. You also have Zoe Kravitz, who plays uh, Selena Kyle. And the film uh, focuses more on Selena Kyle than her Catwoman persona. And I know Zoe Kravitz ended up saying you know, she did not want uh, to distract from uh, the character's emotional journey. So I thought Zoe Kravitz, she did a good job as uh, Selena Kyle. You know, good performance uh, from her. Jeffrey Wright as James Gordon, uh, really uh, enjoyed him, you know, as well portraying uh, Gordon, James Gordon. You got John, John Totoro who plays Carmine Falcone. You know, he's a crime lord. He's also uh, the father to Selena Kyle. It was cool seeing John Totoro in there. You know, really enjoyed John Totoro as an actor. You know, from the Transformers films. Andy Serkis, 
thought it was a good choice of him to play Alfred. Uh, it was good seeing Andy Serkis in there. So he did a good job playing Alfred. Colin Farrell as the Penguin. You know, he's uh, Oswald Cobblepot. You know, I thought he did, you know, pretty uh, a good job here. You know, it, it was weird seeing, you know, Colin Farrell and all that, you know, makeup, you know, for uh, the Penguin. Because uh, I was when I was watching it, I was like, that's Colin Farrell? You know, just, he looked very different, you know, with all the makeup uh, done on him to play uh, the Penguin role. But he's uh, the lieutenant for uh, Falcone, for uh, Carmine Falcone, John Turturro's character. And he's operating the uh, Iceberg Lounge, which is the nightclub in which Selena Kyle end up working at. So, but uh, the action scenes were awesome. Especially where Batman is kicking ass and punching, you know, guys. Uh, the whole Gotham City look was awesome. You know, very, uh, very uh, flashy, very, you know, whitey, you know, with all the lights going off. Uh, you also have, you know, a uh, take on Madison Square Garden, like the Serena, which they call it Gotham Square uh, Garden, uh, which, you know, was uh, pretty cool. Just also, you know, the acting was uh, really good, especially, like I said, Robert Pattinson surprised me as uh, Bruce Wayne, uh, Batman, his portrayal. And all in all, it was just an awesome film. It flowed really well. The pacing was good. It didn't even feel long. You know, there were no boring scenes, uh, in my opinion. I just enjoyed every scene uh, in the film. And there's a lot going on. Uh, in the film, but it was just, you know, really good and awesome, but the Batman, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely go check it out, it's worth the watch uh, in theaters, just a highly entertaining film that'll keep you uh, glued to the screen for, you know, two hours and 56 minutes, almost three hours, so, but just... An awesome film, really loved it, and I can tell it's going to be the number one film at the box office throughout this month. So, but would recommend the Batman. Definitely go out and uh, check it out. But anyways, that's it for my review of the Batman. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Definitely give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And uh, I forgot to mention, uh, there is an after credit scene, so stay so stay till after the credits. It's nothing, you know, great or perfect by any means. So, but you know, if you want to stay till after the credits, you know, go right ahead. But don't expect to be uh, blown away. <laughs> so, but anyways. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this review. And I'll see you all later.